guys, welcome to today's video. Today I'm comparing my two beauty boxes for January. So this is my first comparison video of 2017. I have my Birch box and my Bossy box here. I've been getting these subscription boxes for a good couple of years now and I have to say I just really enjoy receiving them. I really enjoy trying out new products. I definitely have found tons of stuff from both of these subscriptions that have become like some of my favourite products to use and yeah I just love them so I thought I would share them with you again this month. I will leave all the information regarding these boxes in the description box so if you're wondering about either of these and haven't subscribed yet and want to get them then links will be in the description box to find out. So let's just get started, I'm going to start off with this nice bright yellow box here which is my Birch box. The Birch box packaging is always a winner for me, it says sprinkle happiness on the front and it's just this bright yellow colour and on the top it's just like this. Um, just a nice pretty pattern. I absolutely adore these boxes, they're so good for storage. Literally love them so much, use them every day, the ones I already have. This is the inside of my box. Um, let's have a look through what I've got. This is the little card I've got this month. It looks kind of different. It just pulls out like this. I feel like I've had something like this before but not for ages. So the theme this month is Sprinkle of Happiness to bring us into the new year. I'm definitely hoping 2017 is going to be a happy one. It's been pretty good so far already, um, we're not that far in, but this is cute. I'm not going to lie, I don't really look at these cards all that much, um, but it ha obviously has all the information about the products, that's the part I look at. So the first thing I've got is here, this is from Lord & Berry, it says it's a full size, it's the Conceal It Crayon Concealer, um, mine's in the shade beige, I'm not sure how many shades this comes in, but this retails for £12 and it's just a little concealer pencil, let's have a look at the shade, okay, I am like super pale, so that is showing up darker than my skin, so I'm not sure how good that would be for me, just in terms of shade, I've never particularly fallen in love with this kind of concealer in like a pencil form or even a stick form. I definitely always use liquid concealer, but maybe when I have a bit of a tan I could use this. I think something like this would definitely be handy for like spot concealing because I feel like you could just go straight in and the consistency of it would probably give like high coverage and just cover things up easily and then it probably would blend out quite nicely and say kind of like high coverage rather than just blending out to nothing. To be honest that actually feels quite creamy just from the swatch has a bit of tackiness to it as well. That would be interesting. I'll see if I can kind of make it work in this shade, but if not, um, I don't know if they have anything lighter. I'm, I'm hoping that they would. It says it's good for highlighting as well, so if you were like a little bit of a deeper skin tone than me, this might be really good. Okay, the next thing is from Elemis, and it's their Hydro Boost Day Cream. This is the sample size. It retails for £39. It says it has hyaluronic acid in it, I have to say, I've never really tried much from Elemis, to be honest, but I love trying out different day creams. I've been using my Vici Aqualia Thermal Light Moisturiser recently. I hadn't bought a full size moisturiser in absolutely ages because I'd just been using samples from these kinds of things from my beauty boxes, but I did actually buy a full size recently and I love that one. So I do really love things that are just really hydrating and moisturising and quite light um, on the skin, nothing too heavy, especially for daytime. So I'm excited to try this out, I will 100% use this up no problem and I've always wanted to try more things from Elemis so I'm excited. Now we've got a hand cream, I absolutely love hand cream, I use it all the time. This is from Mercy Handy and it's their um, hand cream in New Wave I think or Love and I never really know which is which for this. I had the hand sanitizer in this scent, yeah it's definitely the same smell as the one I had before which I think I got in a birch box as well. And I do like the scent, it's quite strong, very like sweet and strong. Like I said, I use hand cream all the time. I actually have quite a few, that looks like such a hypnotising pattern on the camera. But yeah, I will use this as well, I'll probably either take it to work or throw it in a bag or something. But I'll definitely use it, I literally apply hand cream like all day, every day. I have a bit of a dry skin complex, so I like to just moisturise as often as possible with hand cream. The full size of that is £4.90 and this is a full size. There's a little packet here, this is from John Frieda and it's their Frizz Ease Miraculous Recovery Deep Conditioner. It says it intensely repairs and fortifies damaged hair. I would say my hair is not in fantastic condition. I will definitely use this, um, my hair can be quite dry actually. The full size of this is £7. So you're supposed to just leave this in your hair for a minute 
um, after you've shampooed and everything and then hopefully hopefully it should be a little bit sort of more intense than just your regular conditioner. I do use these kind of treatments every now and again so I will definitely use this after I actually kind of need to wash my hair right now so I might even do it tonight or tomorrow morning and maybe I'll give this a go. Um, not really tried too much from John Frieda. Final thing is another shower product. This is from Prismology. It's their Yellow Day Shower Gel. Citroen and Bergamot. Retails for £30, so pretty pricey, especially for a shower gel. Ooh. That hand cream is very strong, so I'm kind of just smelling that now. Let me try and smell this. It smells good. It's hard. It's literally hard to smell over that hand cream. These minis are great just for travelling, mostly. I wouldn't say they're particularly amazing in terms of value in a box. But I've never tried this brand, so maybe it's really nice. I probably will put it in with my sample, like my sample drawer, and then take it with me if I go away. Um, I probably won't use this up in my shower just because it comes in so handy and is really great not to have to go and like specifically buy minis. So I like that, but the size is not amazing. It's 10 milliliters. It probably would last you like two showers at most, I would say. So yeah, I've got that in there. I like that it's yellow and it matches the box, so that's kind of cool. That's it for my birch box. Not hugely blown away, I have to say, but everything in there, I will, I can kind of see myself using apart from maybe the concealer just because of the shade. Glossy box time. Okay, this is my glossy box and it's the regular pink packaging. This is what most glossy boxes look like, but on the side it just says, the edible edit with deliciously sneller. That makes me think there's food in here, which makes me quite excited. So let's find out. I haven't looked at this at all. The first thing I'm seeing is this lip product. This is the Velvet Lippy from Absolute New York. I'm sure I have one of these, um, but I feel like I've not really tried it. So this colour definitely looks like something I would wear, just like a really pretty pink. This is a buttery matte lip cream, it says, and this is in the shade Calypso. Let me open it up and I'll swatch it. It's pretty bright, actually. Okay, so that's the pink shade there. It's really pretty. I feel like I have kind of a similar shade. Definitely feels pretty smooth and buttery, I would say. I agree with that. It's just that sort of matte, moussey texture, kind of like the NYX soft matte lip creams. And I feel like I have a soft matte lip cream that's kind of similar to this. But I'm sure, like I said, I think I had one of these in another box or something, but I'm sure the colour just wasn't really for me. So I'm going to have to definitely give this one a go. I have really been getting into like my matte liquid lipsticks recently so yeah this is exciting this is worth five pounds next is another makeup product this is a little sample from the balm and it's their meat mat matrimony <laughs> those puns <laughs> it's the meat matrimony single eyeshadow and this is in the shade they're making it hard for me the matte moskowitz <laughs> shadow it's a really deep purple it's actually a really pretty shade i do have one of the meat matte palettes from the balm and i have to say the shadows are such good quality i definitely would recommend them i'm sure i don't have this shade i think they released um more palettes i don't know if there's two or three now but i love the matte shades they're just such good quality really really pigmented and just so useful to have those shades so this is like a deeper purple i have to say i love purples <laughs> doesn't look crazy pigmented but it is quite dark um let me just build that up so it's kind of like this cool toned purpley gray color just there you can probably tell I'm a bit into purple now from like my eyes today my lips and even my top is quite purpley and I just dropped the eyeshadow so and even my top is quite purple. so the full size of this is 34 pounds that's for the whole palette I think there's nine shades if it's like the one I have I just realised it was totally just right on my desk here. So this is the one I have from the Balm, the Meat Matte Nude Palette. Let me just show you inside. I love all the shades. Um, I definitely get a lot of use out of pretty much all of them, I have to say, actually. Maybe not these two, like this one and this one, so much not the grey and the bluey grey one. But everything else I use a ton. Um, they're just so good for in the crease, these matte shades, so I really do like them. I'll have to look into this new palette actually and see if it's worth picking up. Um, I'm quite excited to try out this little sample. What else have we got? This is from Unani or Unani. It's the Illuminate Milk Cleanser. It is £14. It says on here, it's a great alternative to dairy if you finally accepted you can't milk an almond. That's quite funny. <laughs> I'm actually lactose intolerant, so I feel like 
it appeals to me. I absolutely love a good cleanser. I am, I'm kind of running a little bit low on the ones I have now and I have so many backup cleansers. I have two favourites which I always, always use and now I can rely on, but I have tons of stuff in my collection which I really need to try out and use up. So here's another one to add to it. I will give this a go. I love things that are just gentle and I haven't been wearing too much waterproof mascara recently so I can kind of branch out a little bit of my cleansers. I feel like when I have waterproof mascara on, I find it quite difficult to find cleansers that really get it off. Um, but I will give this one a go. I'm sure I've used other products from this brand. I think I've been using a face mask from this actually. I've had a couple of things from this brand in beauty boxes. But yeah, I'm excited and obviously can't really complain with a um, 200 milliliter bottle of cleanser. That is good value for money. I've just realised there's no food in this box, which is a little bit disappointing. But let's carry on anyway. I've got the um, Nip and Fab Kale Fix Moisturiser. Um, you get 30 millilitres of this. It retails for about £20, and like I said before, I love a good moisturiser. I'll definitely use it up. That's one thing I'm really good. I'm not so good with the whole body butter, body moisturiser, body lotions, but when it comes to my face, I moisturise twice a day without fail. Again, kind of still just smelling that other hand cream. I wouldn't say you can necessarily smell kale, but you smell that kind of... that... Um, salad? salad smell, sounds a bit like cucumber, um, which I actually really like in my skincare, but yeah, definitely excited to try that out, I've never really tried anything from Nip and Fab, but I'm excited, it feels really soothing, um, kind of cooling, possibly, it smells a little bit like the Yes to Cucumbers range, so I'm excited about that actually, that's a nice thing in there, so there's kind of like food kind of items, but not actually any food, that would have been such a nice addition if they'd just thrown in a little treat, but maybe it's for the best, um, it is a new year so I'm trying to be healthy-ish, hasn't really been going well so far, but I'm going to try and um, transition into that this year. Um, and then finally the last thing in here is a sheet mask and it's from Manuka Honey, it's their hydrating and moisturising cream face mask made with Manuka Honey extracts to nourish your skin. I do love sheet masks, I don't use them as much as I should, but I love the convenience of them, they're really great. So this is... Uh, 3 99 I have to say I do love honey, I love the smell, um, I don't necessarily love it just on its own, like on toast or anything like that, but I love like honey roasted things, I always throw in a bit of honey if I'm roasting vegetables, so yeah, I'm excited to try this out. I have to say pretty much every single product I've received this month in both boxes I would definitely use, so that's exciting. I think I've probably been saying this for the last few months, but Glossy Box is actually winning it for me, I have to say um, I'm quite impressed. By what's in here. I love um, a good full size product, especially something that really is just full size, it's huge. Um, so I'm excited to try out that cleanser. Face mask is great, moisturiser, um, liquid lipstick and eyeshadow. I will definitely use all of those things, that's really exciting. Um, couldn't be too much happier with that. The birch box is pretty good as well. I guess the products do just seem a little bit smaller, just from like first glance. This is everything I've got in here. But again, I think I will use all of these, possibly apart from that concealer. The shower gel is a little bit small, and so it's not really that exciting of a product either. I mean, shower gel, don't know, don't really get too excited about it. Day cream is great, hand cream, yeah, happy with that. Conditioner I will definitely use, and my hair probably needs it, so I'm not going to complain too much about that. It's a shame the concealer doesn't really seem like the right shade for me. Still pretty happy, not really too many complaints with the Birch Box. Okay, that is both of my boxes. Um, I'm pretty happy with both this month, I have to say. Um, Glossy Box probably just edges it a little bit for me, which I think happens most months. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll leave a few links on the screen here. To my last video, which was, I think it was an empties video, I'll pop that there and then I'll also leave the button to my channel, just if you wanna go ahead and subscribe. If you wanna see more videos like this, hope you did enjoy it and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.